Puppies usually can brighten the day of anyone who may be feeling down or not well. But for the boys of Capstone Treatment Center in Jetsonia, Arkansas, they're also a way of helping to save the lives of young men struggling with addiction. You're looking good. You're looking good. Adrian Hickman started Capstone in 2001 on his property, eventually expanding the campus to over 70 acres. It's a treatment center for males ages 13 to 25, suffering through anything from substance abuse to trauma. He says he's always had passion for working with families and getting individuals the help they need. But he says it's been his love for dogs that made him consider canine therapy for Capstone. A great aftercare therapist that never asks stupid questions are always in your corner, you know, those kind of things. So I knew it from a practical deal, and I've learned over the years the neuroscience of it. He says the Labrador puppies, even at an early age, can sense emotion through their brain and their sense of smell. Each person that goes through therapy gets their own puppy once they start, getting to choose the gender and color of their lab. He says they get that necessary chance to bond with their dog three times a day. And that boy is spiking up with something inside of him that's going to be hurt or maybe lead to a relapse that that dog is moving up toward him you know laying on his feet crawling up and that's that's why it works capstone is just something very special to me ruth ann rigby has worked with capstone for about four years she says after deciding to become sober almost 20 years ago she decided to help people overcome their addictions she says she uses her office at Broadmoor Baptist Church in the metro area to help lead people to the treatment they need. Just because we help families and, and young men in their greatest time of need, you know, that's something that uh, families don't ever ask for, but sometimes their children uh, get mixed up in all kinds of trouble. Both say that family support is one of the biggest determining factors of a person's success in therapy. Hickman says for both the family and the client, the dogs serve as a reminder of sobriety and progress, even a way for an entire family to rally around that person who needs love. They all love that dog so much, and it actually brought the connection between parents and the boy together more because of that dog. The boys are able to keep the dogs once they finish their 90 days of therapy, but Hickman insists the puppies are not a reward. He says with the puppy being a part of that support group, it gives those in need someone to lean on that won't let them down. And if you're ever going to get the love, you usually have to go through some of the rejection and the hurt. With the puppy, you don't have to do the hurt part. Capstone services are not free, but Rigby says regardless of your socioeconomic background, they're able to accommodate anyone who needs help in overcoming addiction. In the studio, Earl Arms, 16 WAPT News.